A mystery is solved tonight after hateful graffiti messages turned up at a Colorado Springs Park right near a playground Saturday. We now know the man who cleaned off the painted messages all by himself. KRDO News Channel 13's Julia Donovan is live at Roswell Park. Julia. Lauren, the messages against black people, Jewish people, and the LGBTQ community were sprayed across sidewalks and signs all over this park. Now that's gone. The red pigment is still here, but the profanities are no longer. I grew up here and I know that our community is better than that. I know that there's a lot of love here and I don't want that to get washed out. The Good Samaritan who cleaned up the park over the weekend didn't want us to use his name. He's scared for his life after other locals who denounced this behavior were threatened online. Despite his fear of retaliation, he didn't want people to see that level of hate in this community. And that's where I draw the line. You can say what you want. Um, you know, that's one of the things that makes this country great. But you also can't call for violence against people. You can't call for the death of people. The graffiti was reported to the city Saturday. Graffiti teams clean up more than 8,000 tags per year to keep public spaces clean, according to city officials. But before they had a chance to make it over to Roswell Park, this man took matters into his own hands, hoping his quick actions make a statement about what Colorado Springs truly stands for. Where you see the sort of the seeds of the weeds of fascism, where you see the emergence of, you know, hate, you need to nip that in the bud and not in a way that creates more hate, but in a way that heals the community. If you have any information you think could help catch whoever is responsible for this vandalism, you're asked to call police. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Julia Donovan, KRDO News Channel 13.